unfair tax. We will look at a public finance and taxation paper for ATD, that is Accounting Technician Diploma for CASNEP, which was tested November 2017, question 2C. You can still get that paper from CASNEP. Now, let's look at uh, the summary of that question as it appears in the paper. Now, we have the sales at the standard rate 2,784,000, exempt sales 1,600,000, zero rated sales 417,000, and the total if you earn these three, the total is 4,801,600. Now, number two is about purchases. We have purchases for sale at standard rate, 1,252,800. Now, these are shillings. Remember to write shillings there. Now, then the purchases of office stationery, shillings 87,000. Then Isuzu truck for transport, shillings 5,568,000. Number three, the company paid for the following services. You have security service fees, 501,120. Then insurance for company vehicles, 464,000. Tax consultancy services, 69,600 shillings. Then garbage collection, 17,400 shillings. Number four, during the month, the company paid shillings 8,700 and shillings 10,440 for electricity and water, respectively. Number five, the transactions are inclusive of VAT at the rate of 16% where applicable. So that is our question. Now, when you are dealing with VAT, there are two things that the student is supposed to know. Number one, Input VAT deals with purchases and expenses. Then output VAT deals with the sales. And then number two, where the student has been told that transactions are inclusive of VAT, the formula for computing that VAT will be 16 over 116. This is where transactions are inclusive of VAT. Now, if the student is told that uh, the transactions are exclusive of VAT, the formula will be 16 over 100 times the gross amount. Now, the last thing that the student should know about VAT is how to compute it now using the formula that is be saying that uh, VAT payable or claimable is equals to, the formula is there, that's a, uh, uh, output VAT minus input VAT. If the answer is positive, then it means that is VAT payable. If the answer is negative, it means uh, the VAT claimable. Now, let's go straight away to answering our question here. Now that we have the question here, and remember it is November 2017, question 2C. Now, the solution, the examiner required the student to compute deductible input VAT that is deductible input tax. You are given six marks, then output VAT, that is output tax, two marks, and then VAT payable or refundable or claimable, two marks. The total was 10 marks. Now, let's see how the student could have attempted the question to score the 10 marks. Now, start with deductible input VAT. The student is supposed to know the formula. The formula is taxable surplus over total surplus times input VAT. Now, taxable supplies over total supplies times input VAT. Now, we come back to the formula in the next step. Let's see what is our input VAT, because in our formula, we need input VAT. Remember, input VAT is based on purchases and expenses. Therefore, for us to compute input VAT, you have to know which purchases are we going to charge VAT and which expenses here and then this part comes when we are dealing with the output VAT now let's see the input VAT now purchases this figure here the purchases for the 
for sale at standard rate. Remember, standard rate is 16%, and we are told transactions are inclusive of VAT. So purchases for sale at standard rate means 16 over 116 times 1 million 252,800, and you get this figure there, 172,800. Now the next item, so you are through that, you move to the next item, purchases of office stationery, 16 over 116 times 87,000, this figure here, and the answer is 12,000. You move to the next item, which is, which is a subject to VAT, that is, that is a Isuzu truck for transport, 16 over 116 times 5,568,000 and you get 768,000. The next item, oh, these items are in, uh, was point number two, the purchases, you have three of them. They are all subject to VAT. So we move to number three, which was uh, the company paid for the following services. Remember, we have said input VAT is about purchases and expenses. So we have that. So we move to number three. Security services, 501-120. So 16 over 116 times 501-120, the answer is 69-120. We move to insurance. For company vehicles, the gross amount was 464,000. We multiply by 16 over 116, you get 64,000. Then tax consultancy fees, at least like the audit fees and, and the like. And the figure here, 69,600. We multiply by 16 over 116. We get 9,600. There was also garbage collection, 17,400. Is here. Multiply by 16 over 116. You get 2,400 shillings. There was electricity, electricity as VAT, and they paid 8,700 times 16 over 116, we get 1,200. So we did not consider water here because water has no VAT, because VAT is where there is value addition. Now, once you have done all this, we earn all these figures, we earn for uh, purchases, um, office stationery, Zuzu truck, security services, insurance, tax consultancy, garbage collection, electricity, and this total we have it here, and that is our input VAT. Now we have input VAT. We need to know what is our taxable supply. Now for us to compute taxable supplies, we only consider those sales which was subject to the 16% standard rate and 0% standard rate and then the exempt we don't consider that. So our taxable supplies will be sales at standard rate plus sales at zero rate meaning we take 2,784,000 plus zero weighted sales, 417,000. So if you underachieve, you get 3,201,600. So that is the taxable supplies, that is the taxable supplies. Now, the next item is total supplies. Now for the total supplies, is the aggregate of the sales at the standard rate, the 16% XMT sales, and then the zero weighted sales. So the total for this three, four million eight zero one six hundred is the total supplies. Now you substitute now because you have your formula here that is a deductible input tax is equal to taxable supplies over total supplies times input VAT. So taxable supplies we have three million two zero one six hundred. So 3,201,600 is um, the sales at the standard rate, the 2,784,000 plus the zero rated sales, 417,000. If you add those two, you get taxable supplies. 
divided by so this one here divided by the total supplies the total supplies means the standard rate plus the x empty sales plus the 0 8 cent gives us 4 million 800 so you add those three you get 4 million 800 and then you multiply by input vat and we have computed the input vat 1 million 99,120 so we multiply by input vat so once you have done that our deductible input tax will be shillings 7 million not 7 million 7 that's 2,869 shillings that is the deductible input tax so that is how the student could have attempted part one to score the six marks now let us look at number b the output tax remember output tax is based on the sales now so output tax you take the standard rate sales which is 16 over 116 remember it is always over 116 where you are told the transactions are inclusive of vat so 16 over 116 times 2 million this figure here times 2 million 16 over 116 times 2 million 784,000 which gives us 384,000 now for zero rated is uh, the accent there is nothing for accent normally you put a dash there this one would be a zero because it is a uh, 417,600 uh, multiplied by by zero is 417 is 417,000 times zero which would be a zero and accent we have nothing there so our output VAT is 384,000 shillings. So that is how the student could have scored the two marks there. The output VAT or the output tax is 384,000. In other words, 16 over 116 times 2,784,000. So you must show the exempt sales. You just put a dash there, zero rated, you put zero, and then you give your output VAT there. Then lastly, the VAT payable or claimable or refundable. Normally, uh, or you are supposed to know the formula that is a VAT payable or claimable is given by output VAT minus input VAT. Now that we have computed output VAT, which is 384,000, the output VAT, remember output VAT is based on the sales. And input VAT is based on purchases and expenses, so it is the difference between the two. So output VAT, we have 384,000 minus, is 384,000 minus input VAT, which is uh, 7, that, 7 that 2869. Now, our answer there will be 348,869. Now, this is a negative figure. If it is a negative, it means VAT refundable. That is, or claimable. Because 384 minus 7 that's 2. The 384,000 minus 732869 is negative 348869. So it is a negative figure. So you will not pay the VAT to be claimable VAT. So that is how a student is supposed to attempt that question. So as far as VAT is concerned, uh, there are around uh, four things that the student must know. Number one, where the student has been told transactions are inclusive of VAT, then it means for you to compute that VAT, you must use the formula. That is where you are told transactions are inclusive. The formula remains at uh, as, uh, 16 over 116 times the gross amount. If you are told transactions are exclusive, the formula will be 16 over 100 times the gross amount. The other 
important thing for the student to know is that um, input VAT is um, for the purchases and expenses and output VAT is for the sales and that is the end of the lesson. My name is Mr. William. My contact is there 0727 87 10 93. We meet again. Thank <laughs> you.